All right, in this video, I'm going to show you the two different keyboards that came with the Motorola Droid X. By default, the default keyboard that comes with the Droid X is the multi-touch keyboard. The multi-touch keyboard is an improvement on the stock Android OS keyboard. Um, by that, I mean it allows multi-touch. So normally when you type on a touchscreen keyboard, you have to completely lift off your finger for your letter before you can move on to the next one. Um, with the multi-touch keyboard, you don't have to. For example, if I wanted to type the word what, normally on a touchscreen keyboard, you have to finish typing W before you could type the following letters. But with the multi-touch keyboard, you could begin typing the next letter without completely lifting off your finger on the previous letter. So, for example, if I'm holding down W, I could begin typing the next letter in the word without completely letting go. If you didn't see that, I'll show it to you again. I'm typing W, but before I let go, I'm going to be typing H. So as you can tell, this is going to be a really nice feature to have because it improves on the speed that you type and the accuracy. It allows you to type much faster and with more accuracy because it separates the two inputs instead of mixing it up together. So that's the multi-touch keyboard, but it also, the Motorola Droid X also comes with another one that I prefer to use. It's called Swipe. Now, if you haven't heard about it already, it's a new creative way to type on a touchscreen keyboard. Sorry, excuse that. So, um, with this kind of keyboard, you don't hunt and peck each letter. You basically broadly swipe the letters that you want in your word. So, if I use the example what again, I start with W, drag my finger to H, A, and then T. Swipe will then try to use this algorithm to determine which word you're most likely trying to be typing. So if I want to write the sentence, what is your name, you can watch as I do that. So for is, I start with I, go to S, and release. For your, just simply do this, pass by the U, and stop at R, and that's name. And um, this is a question, so I need a question mark. The most intuitive way is to hold down the M until it becomes a question mark. Or a faster shortcut that some people might not know is that you could start with M and drag to the space and automatically have it input a question mark and then a space right afterwards for you to continue typing. That also works with the exclamation mark too. So that's the basic like functionality of swipe. Um, over here, I don't know what this button is called. Let's just call it caps lock or whatever. If you tap it once, the arrow lights up. The next letter you type will be capital. Everything after that is lowercase. If you type it twice, the, it's completely highlighted. And now every letter you type is in uh, capital. So when you want to delete something, you could tap, tap, tap to delete letters. But a faster way is to hold it and it will delete it word by word, and it will increasingly delete faster and faster the longer you hold it. Um, on the bottom left hand corner is a symbol button. Symbol button shows you all the common numbers, and um, actually all the numbers, my bad, and um, the most common symbols that you'll be using. To go back to your regular keyboard, tap the bottom left. Now you're probably thinking like, this is all fine and dandy, but uh, what if you have a word that has two of the same letters in them. Well, that's pretty easy. Um, swipe basically detects that by your fingers. When you cross over a letter that you need to repeat, you make a small loop around the letter and then continue on. So let's say I want to type the word moon. To do moon, I start with M, go to O, but I want another O, so I do like a rough circle with my finger and then go on to N. And as you can clearly see, it is moon. Now say I wanted, to, I meant another word. Um, in, land, in landscape mode like I am in now, you can simply double tap the word and it will highlight the word and uh, yeah, it will show you some other suggestions that you might have been thinking of. You could click the arrow to get more suggestions, but uh, I think we're good for that right now. So. Yeah, that's a good feature when you're typing really fast and then you realize it messed up on the previous letter. So like say I said the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy cow. As you can see it um 
I had a suggestion box popped up, but I completely ignored it and skipped it and moved on. If you, if you do exactly what I did, it'll select the first choice automatically and continue. For the most part, Swipe is really um, smart with its predictions, so normally I just completely ignore it and then I'll check it afterwards. If I didn't mean to type brown right here, I could double click that or double tap that and it'll give me some other suggestions. I could replace it simply by tapping the alternative word that I meant. So I could say the quick grown fox jumped over the lazy cow. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't know what you thought, but I thought that was a pretty fast, fast um, way to type the sentence out much faster than hunting for each letter. I just had to simply swipe in the general direction of the letters I wanted for my words. What else is there? Um, so if you want to edit text, which sometimes you have to do, Droidex has a custom little icon over there, that little red splash that tells you where your cursor is. To help, to help even more, if you hold down, if you long press, a little magnifying window comes up and it will show you where the cursor is. This helps you position your cursor better for you to cut, copy, and paste um, selected text. So, oh yeah, I also forgot one thing. If you want to type, if you want to swipe a word that is not in a standard dictionary or something that you completely made up, then obviously when you swipe, it's not going to be able to guess what word you're trying to say. So when you, you come across those kind of situations, you have to hunt and peck and type the word out before you can swipe on it. For example, if I wanted to say rafflecopter, let's try that. Rafflecopter. So I never typed this word before, so it's confused. It doesn't know what I want. So it pops up a suggestion, and obviously none of these are rafflecopter. So I don't like that. And I want to be able to swipe the next time. So what I have to do is I have to type in rafflecopter manually, just like this. Okay, so I type it in, let's just say I finished the sentence, and then a few days later I found something hilarious and I wanted to say Rafflecopter. So this time, if I swipe, it should show up when I do it. Now that's pretty sick, isn't it? So yeah, so if you ever needed to create your own words, you know, like that, you have to enter it in the dictionary manually before you can swipe on it. So. That's um, that's a pretty awesome feature of Swipe, and I think it's great. So, boo yeah.